Oh, it's raining bullets here. It's as if the corner shops are selling bullets for as cheap as two rand. The way the shooting is going on here, it is a quote from a News 24 article on yesterday's violence in Mannenberg. Many people forced to seek shelter inside their homes. Widespread shooting erupting yesterday between members of the Fancy Boys and Hard Living's gang. Schools, parents in Mannenberg collecting their children from schools from as early as 10 o'clock yesterday. Uh, some schools even forced to implement the safety procedures. Children with your heads down on the floor. This is just a taste, a little taste of what the community of Mannenberg and many, many areas around Cape Town have, have been experiencing, not just this year, but for decades. Sounds like it's next door. And then also a a heart-wrenching video from a woman called Raifa Benjamin after that shooting, a video of her showing the bullet holes through her windows, two small children on the floor pleading. She wants to get out of there. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It ni man for me. A plot of a brain. The last plot of the country. I'm not going to play. 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 I'm not I get mean so what it can really mark for me. Canala, I beg you, I don't want to stay here anymore. In a hate, I decode it. Canala, I can't demand any. Canala, canala. She wants a plot or even a derelict abandoned home somewhere. She will fix it herself. She wants to get out of Mannenberg. Vernon Fasaki is the CPF chairperson in Mannenberg. Um, yesterday, the videos circulating of the violence in Mannenberg really bringing to light what hasn't just been an event yesterday, but a week of gunshots in Mannenberg. Vernon, good morning. Good morning and good morning to all the listeners. Just what brings about this latest violence? It's again the it's a play up of the gang war that we've warned people about, and um, we had a community engagement a month ago with the MEC um, Regan Allen again addressing the crowd. So um, this is this is what it is. This is what it is. A nine-year-old boy shot dead, shot in the head a month ago. A 20-year-old man shot and killed outside the Mannenberg police station in July. Last week, yeah. two people, including a young mum and another bystander, were caught in the crossfire because of a drive-by shooting. Listening to that video of Raifa Benjamin, just what, what are the people of Mannenberg going through? You can hear the emotions, you can hear the cry of a community that is so subject to the violence that they've got to face on a daily basis. And uh, that cry is our cry because we have, uh, uh, sorry for, uh, I'm just feeling too emotional this morning. Um, we have pleaded with, with, with the officials to send in resources. We have pleaded um, with the different parties to come to the fore, with the different stakeholders to come to the fore to help and assist Mannenberg. It also seems like the people in Mannenberg don't need help. They don't want help. Because when we had this engagement with the community a month ago, um, the amount of people that we've reached out to and the amount of people that we ex expected to come um, to, to, to the event, um, just, a, I, I won't say, uh, just a handful came. 
You know, and that is sad. That is very sad. Is this because residents have learned to tolerate gang violence or has it become so normalized that you don't see any other alternative besides the violence that you experience on a daily basis? I think they've they've accepted the fact that this is part of their lifestyle and that drives fear into us. To, 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 to come to a point like this in your life and to say to yourself, you know, let's go on. Because today is just going to be a normal game. People are going back to, 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 to the usual way of living. And that's it. They, for, they will forget about what happened yesterday. That is scary, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and, and to continue like that on a daily basis, it is scary. Nobody, that poor lady that is crying out for help. That poor lady is taking, it, 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 it has happened to her now. What about the others? What about the rest of men and girls that feel that way, but are saying to themselves, or, 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 or perhaps they have been promised that tomorrow it's going to be better, it's, it's, it's going to cool down, you know, it's going to cool off. That is the way people of men and girls have accepted the fact it only happened for today. It's all right. Tomorrow we're going to continue with our, 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 our normal lifestyle. And then if it flares up again, we just flip the page. Mm. That is scary to me. Uh, Vernon, stay on the line. We've managed to, to track down Raifa Benjamin. Um, Raifa, thanks so much for, for joining us. Why? At, at what point did you decide, I'm going to turn on my phone camera, I'm going to turn the video on myself uh, while we're lying on the floor with two young babies, young children on the floor, that, that you're going to make this video? Was it? Did, do, you, do you want to send this video out for people to see what's happening? Your ultimate call is you want a house elsewhere. You want to move out of Manneberg, right, Hi, good morning. Um, um, thank you for enjoy, um, inviting me. Um, with all due respect, um, I don't accept what is going on um, going to the meetings and to the marches, let me just get on to that. Um, the fear of coming back to your house, walking, and you don't know when the shooting starts. Because these, the, the gang fight at the moment now is, is people that you don't know. It's from other places. And um, yesterday I was so frantic. Yesterday was not only the first time that I laid on my floor and cried out. Um, it got too much. Yes, around me, um, I feel for the people of Mannenberg. My neighbor came to sit with me yesterday because we were standing on the stairs. I was watching out for her when she came from hospital because that is what we do as neighbors. We keep in contact with each other. Is it safe? Can I come home now? Um, is it safe to walk there? And I was looking out for my neighbor. She just stepped out on the stoopy. And then that shot went off. That was the first um, shot. And we were in such a panic that we didn't even know which way to. I was standing in my door, but I wanted to run out of my door. And um, I didn't, I don't accept this, but um, there is promises made every time people walk for peace. Um, like two, three weeks ago, the minister of police were here. He was in the same gang that the shooting um, happened. Um, with all due respect, I don't want to mention names and the gang names, but they come here, then they go shoot in the gang, and then they come go home to there, wherever they stay, and then the rival gang come back to in our court and, and shoot at them. Mm. Um, I have not only two children, I have seven children in my house. No, no one are maternally connected to me or um, bloodline. I take care of children. These are children you look after. Yes, I'm an emergency safety foster parent wow. um, for 25 years with Cape Town Child Welfare. And to, uh, to me, this is not a way of living. This is not um, for children to grow up like that. And this is these people that shoot are people that grew in front of me. I make porridge in the morning for the children before they go to school. They are the same children that came to fetch porridge or I make food. They are the same people that come and, 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 and um, get food um, by me. But I can't live like this anymore. I can't, I can't take it anymore. Right. It, my my t- tummy is, is running. My nerves are... I, I can't take it anymore. Mm. 
you, so say, you say in that video, a... you say in that video, Ray, for that, you, you, you just want to plot somewhere, even if it's a derelict, abandoned yes, building, yes, you fix it yes. yourself. You simply want to move out of Manenberg. I just, I just want to get out of here. I can't handle it. I lived in through too many gang fights through this, and I saw too many people getting killed. People that I know, people that grew up in front of me, and and I can't. Let, I've got four, three boys, four boys here. It's not a right um, that they must experience this. Um, we can't look through the window. We can't step outside. Yesterday, it went so frantic that I forgot to buy light. Um, the child had to run there to get light because they start shooting from any time. It's, it's not fair upon us, man. <laughs> Raifa, thank you so much. Really appreciate you ag agreeing to talk to us. Uh, Vernon, mm -hmm. um, there's, a, there's a sense of... Of, of of hopelessness there's i'm oh. sure many people as you've said have just resigned to the fact that this is our lot and this is where uh, <laughs> this is where we where we will stay and, and we can talk about solutions to the cows come home but yeah. when people are, are are fearing for their lives now they're so correct and when you hear people speaking um they they're homesick in other words they home, but also away from home. Yes. There's that sense of this is not what Menenberg used to be. We want the old Menenberg back. We want our our, our normal lives back. Gosh. And um, you can well imagine that um, uh, the, the 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 people, those that have grown up in Menenberg, as Raif have now said, um, they don't want to live like that. But I'm appealing again to the people out there. As Raifa has also said, these these children have grown up um, in front of them that are now gangsters. Mm. Please give us their names. Please, because we need to intervene. We need to come up with a solution here. And only the people of Menenberg can come up with the solutions here. Mm. Vernon, that that is a, a, a comment that will that will linger with me. That is so profound. Homesick while living at home.